Jane Paul. Mr. Speaker, it's important to remember that the Ambassador Bridge and Coots Alberta crossings were cleared before the Emergency Act was invoked. The Act was not needed to clear the border blockades. Police were well equipped to take care of this with all of their existing laws and powers. So what then was the national security threat that met the extraordinarily high threshold needed to invoke this Act? Is there something they're not telling us, or was the Prime Minister trying to cover up for his incompetent management of the protest? Mr. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. When illegal blockades hurt workers and endangered public safety, police were clear that they needed tools not held by any federal, provincial or territorial law. It was only after we got advice from law enforcement that we invoked the Emergencies Act. The Canadian Policing Association, Canadian and Ontario Associations of Chiefs of Police all agreed this is how the legislation should be used for emergencies. We've now announced the independent inquiry to examine the circumstances that led to the declaration and the measures taken in response. I know we all look forward to Justice Rouleau's work. Honourable Member for Kildonan St. Paul. Mr. Speaker, the protest organizers are being held accountable in courts as we speak, but this inquiry, this inquiry is to ensure the government is being held accountable. That's right. Invoking an act with the power to override charter rights is dangerous, so the purpose of the inquiry is to tell the public whether the threshold needed to invoke the act was in fact met. But the Liberal government has not made a convincing argument, meaning the threshold remains in serious doubt. So either they're hiding something or they're covering up for incompetence. Will the Prime Minister waive Cabinet confidence and let Canadians know the true story? Yeah.